What is spirituality? Spirituality is the partner of the spirit of God. Partnership of the spirit of God with the flesh of man to bring reality in the visible world. I was reading through the Bible and I thought Jesus was trying to emphasize more about his spirit than his physicality. I stumbled into something and then we're going to pray. And tomorrow I'm going to elaborate. I saw that every time Jesus talked, he would say, the son of man have no place. All Jesus was trying to do was to convince everybody that he was a son of man and not a spirit. All along, he was trying to make them understand that I am a spirit that came from heaven. But here on earth, I am a man. The son of man have no place to lay his head. Jesus died and resurrected. And he entered into the room where the disciples were gathered. Hear me. And it means he passed through the walls. Now watch this. When they saw him, they were afraid. But he spent time to convince them that the person you saw is not a spirit. He said, touch me. And he said in the scripture, can a spirit have born? So all he was trying to do was to convince them that spirituality has no place of deficiency of the manifestation of the flesh. Touch my hand. He was convincing them to feel him as a man, not as a spirit. I asked myself, some sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Somebody who passed through all along. We have been taught that spirituality is when you are boneless, you can feel it. But that's not what Jesus meant. Jesus was trying to say. There is a dimension of my spirit that you can carry. That when you carry it, you can have bone and flesh and pass through the walls. Oh, you are not getting me. In Caparandes, no wonder Philip disappear and reappear until we begin to understand that until the flesh modify the spirit and the spirit enter the flesh and the flesh enter the spirit, then there are certain signs and wonders we will Will never see one day the disciples were passing by on the boat sailing and Jesus was in the other side and Jesus started walking on the sea and there was a boisterous wind this is what blew my mind you need to read the scriptures I will, I will when you go home and then Jesus started walking and when they saw him they thought they had seen a spirit and he did not convince them that he was a spirit he had to convince them that it's the same Jesus the son of man that was walking on the street when Peter said Lord if you are not a spirit and you are mad should I come he said come you can operate in this dimension can I prophesy the Lord is about to help a man all through he was convincing them that you know we have been preaching spirituality and we have been removing the flesh now you must distinguish between the flesh and carnality carnality is the sinful satisfaction of the flesh the flesh is not carnal the flesh is your visa on earth and so you must understand then you don't have to think because you are in the flesh we are made to feel that a man cannot help you hear me all through jesus was trying to prove one thing that i am a son of man and miracles don't happen in the spirit they happen in the realm of man
Ladies and gentlemen, when you get to heaven, there is no miracle. When you get to heaven, there is no deliverance service. When you get to heaven, there is no healing service. When you get to heaven, cripples don't walk in heaven because they don't need it. When you get to heaven, there are no there are no fasting and prayer. Prophecy will end here. So hear me, all the miraculous and the supernatural manifestations station they are for man on the realm of the earth for man to manifest so if a man does not understand the technology of how to carry things in the spirit to the physical you will not be heard i prophesy god is about to help a man the church is too spiritual that we are not studying how to operate in the physical realm by the aid of the spiritual God. Hear me. All through. He was trying to convince them. That. I am the man. Jesus. That was why when you get to his tomb. He took his body. He took the body. He took the body. The most valuable part. Of your destiny. Is not just only your spirit. Because the spirit of God does not rest on spirit, it rests on flesh. So if your flesh doesn't carry the spirit, you are finished. God doesn't anoint spirit, he anoints the flesh. And the reason why he anoints the flesh is that when the anointing falls on the flesh, it makes the desire of the spirit to be visible. We are winning in the spirit that the world is not seeing what we are doing physically. When I hear somebody say, I pray for 24 hours, great win. But what is the result of 24 hours physically? When I hear somebody say, I fast for 20 days, that's great exploit. But I ask, what is the result of fasting for 20 days in the physical realm? They that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. Not in the spirit, in the flesh. How can they hear until there is a preacher? Ladies and gentlemen, the Holy Ghost is a powerful preacher. But yet, he needs Joshua Iginla to partner in order to preach the gospel. I am not useless, I am important. As powerful as Jesus is, <laughs> he needed to come to the earth as a spirit being, El Shaddai, Alpha and Omega. He has to partner with the woman and stay in the womb of the woman to come to the earth. Mary carried him for nine months so that there would be visibility. If your spirit does not have intercourse with your flesh, you will not be relevant. I am tired of believers seeing money in the spirit and it's not manifesting in the flesh. I am tired of believers seeing miracles in the dream and it's not manifesting huh, in the physical. Huh. The Bible said in Genesis 18:1 that in the heat of the afternoon, Abraham was sitting down under a tree in the plain of the afternoon. And the Bible said that the Lord appeared unto him. Ladies and gentlemen, they have told you that spirits don't eat, but I saw spirits eat here. The Bible says, and Abraham killed a fat calf, and the Lord sat down and eat suya with Abraham. He I prophesy you are about to see manifestation. Hey! Hey! I am anointed. I carry oil on my head. I carry oil on my head. I carry oil on my head. My oil is not in the spirit. It landed on my flesh. There shall be manifestation. There shall be performance.